Yo, welcome, 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 welcome. This is not Locks, not Nation here. Doing a bit of a podcast, I guess you could call this. I am kind of uh, enjoying myself. I, mean, you know, I am enjoying myself on the day to day. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update, I guess, of what's been going on in my life because definitely haven't been doing as much content creation as I once aspired. I used to be very, very addicted to creating, uploading, editing in hopes of finding some sort of career from this. And lately, this year, and the year before this, and the year before that, a lot of that passion has been killed from a few different circumstances. One of them being pandemic. Another one being family was sick and I haven't even divulged into that aspect of my life online yet. Um, I do feel like I will tell the story eventually, but pretty much almost lost somebody very close to me, um, I guess, throughout the entirety of 2021. And it was a nightmare. Definitely the hardest thing I ever went through. And... I just haven't been ready to tell the story yet fully. So I feel like it's really changed me though as well. Being being a content creator, it takes stories to drive the passion, uh, but it also takes like happiness to want to follow your dreams and to pursue your passions as well. So when you are not feeling happy, things like that don't happen as much. So I had dedicated a lot of time to just return to finding myself and not really worry about filming everything and vlogging every day and editing all the time. Just really focusing on doing the things that bring me happiness. And this year, this summer has been traveling and rollerblading and competing and just connecting with people around the nation with uh, with skating has, has really grounded me again. And obviously, I mean, not working. I've taken a break from having an employment uh, just to help with uh, enjoying the summer and, you know, relocating myself as well Uh, so it really has helped and i've been able to you know do side hustles here and there um to to make ends meet but just haven't been focusing on like you know really grinding out a career path or really trying to make it you know big on youtube or anything like that you know after stepping aside from it my my visions and goals seem to have changed quite a bit like i don't really care about getting to a million subscribers or not um definitely not like something i'm trying to strive for or anything like that here on youtube um quite frankly i am happy with a goal of 300k subscribers Um, which is essentially just double what I have now. And I feel like even at that level, I could be making a pretty sustainable living um, just with 300,000. And it kind of goes to show how many subscribers you actually really need to make a decent living here on YouTube. And I've seen people with 75,000 subscribers, half of what I have, that make a pretty good living off of their channel so i mean it it really comes down to their market their niche and the content and the amount of uh, money advertisers will spend on their channel so i mean obviously we're we're stuck on we're we're doing the dreadlock content over here keeping people motivated inspired to grow their hair out that's the main focus here on this channel 
it was very it was very detrimental at times from some topics I have talked about, some music that I've included in some of these videos. But at the end all be all, I'm super happy with the people that I've met through this channel. The viewers that have approached me in public and have complimented my work always means a lot to me. So if you ever do notice me out in public, anywhere you may be, that guy with locks, definitely holler. I would love to meet as many of you as possible. Lately, I have been spending more time with family as I will go back to that. And I feel like that is a pretty big, pretty big commitment, pretty good thing to do. Because time is short and, you know, you never really know how much longer we have with the people that we care about most. So, just been doing my best to keep everything non-controversial amongst the people closest to me. And quite honestly, that will always lead down to my mood and the choices that I take in displaying my mood through my actions often comes down to just being a lot more patient being humble and being forgiving and most importantly being loving and having an interest in wanting to connect with those around me as well definitely goes a long way so all in all I'm just happy to be able to still connect with y'all on here. Um, I know there's a lot of you that are still watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And, you know, I still am an avid videographer. So I will be making content here. Like, it's never, obviously, it's never, it's never, it's never going to stop. You know, it's never going to stop. I just got to keep on going. Pretty much, right? And... It's interesting, though, because I got this microphone here from Comica, cardioid condenser mic, and you might notice it sounds pretty sexy here on the channel, <clears throat> which makes me want to just do, like, podcast-relatable things like this, just voiceovers, just talking, just speaking what's on my mind, and doing, you know... Just doing me. The voice is still active, okay? The voice is still active and it's present. So if you guys have anything to say, just let me know in the comment section. We're talking down there. I'm still watching everything. So reading what you guys are posting. And that's about it. So I love y'all. Talk to you later. Peace out.